What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cubist Corner. Another one. That's right. And another one, another one. And another, 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 another. <laughs> <laughs> Every week, me and my beautiful wife here, Sharice, are breaking it down for you guys, giving you guys some great information, some good tips, tricks, and things that are going to hopefully help you in your relationship. And if you're not in a relationship now, hopefully your future relationship. And this goes from everything from the beginners in the relationship all the way to the seasoned players that have been in the relationship for a long, long time. Um, and me and Sharice have been, I think, like 14 years now for ourselves. So It's really 28 because we've been together every day. <laughs> we've Double. learned a lot from each other uh, in our relationship and we've learned a lot from our different friends and counterparts out there in their relationships too. So I want to help people out out there because I think relationships are harder than ever nowadays. And what people expect or what people don't expect and, and uh, what people are looking for or not looking for out Swiping there. Swiping left and right and bumbling. Yeah, and all the different avenues that people can get relationships these days. It's, it's really, crazy. really hard. I'd be so scared. Um, you never had relationships before get tested as much as they possibly do nowadays. Truth. Whether it be social media and DMs and pictures up for lights or whatever it may be <laughs> out there, right? Or OnlyFans, you know? Oh, boy. <laughs> We've got all these different things out there that affect relationships on a daily basis. So, we want to bring some positivity back to this thing and really focus on some of the things that long-lasting couples do to make their relationships successful, okay? And this is something that me and Sharice do. So, it's insane, like, savoring your partner and the experiences that you have and not taking each other for granted, Right. okay? I think it hits right in the head for all these different things that are out there. You know, people really don't savor their partner. We're just saving me. That means like you're putting your partner first. Like that is your ultimate thing right there, right? Um, and, and that's how it should be. Your partner should be obviously priority number one, along with your kids or whatever it is, mm -hmm. um, and, and your other family members. But your, your wife, your partner, hey, that's your partner, and that's number one to you, right? So at that point, you want to really make sure that you guys are acting in that fashion and acting it together. Right. Not just one partner savoring the relationship or putting the partner first, but both of you guys. Yeah. Because it really is a joint effort uh, and it takes two to tango in a relationship in all ways, shapes, and forms. You could dance by yourself. It's never fun. Yeah, but you're not having a partner unless they're imaginary. <laughs> you don't want an imaginary partner out like, hey, you're just seeing a Betsy there. Oh, Betsy's so nice. Casper, Betsy. he's so like, cute. Oh, yeah, Betsy's beautiful blonde hair. Looks good. It's not blonde. She's a brunette. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, um, but you know, hey, listen, that's where the risk you take when you have an imaginary partner out there. But you know, when people that don't have imaginary part partners out there, <laughs> geez, oh, Pete's, um, you know, you want to make sure make sure that you guys are both on the same page with that, right? And then the next thing, your experiences, right? Having the experiences together and going over these experiences together, and with your relationship just starting from dating and going on to a serious relationship, engagement, marriage, kids, and the whole nine. You're gonna create so many different memories of experiences that you've had together. Mm -hmm. And some of those experiences can be good. I was gonna say, some will be good and some will be bad. And some are gonna be bad. But, but they make you who you are today. And they make the relationship what it is. So a lot of good things that happen usually make the relationship a lot better. Mm -hmm. And negative things that happen in the relationship, those things can make things worse for a short time or a long period of time. But if you get over them, and you guys get past those different things. It'll make you stronger. It can make the relationship stronger. Because whatever Absolutely. doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yep. What they say anyway. Th this is a true statement. I really believe in that, that statement, right? Because, you know, you gain so much knowledge, whether it's a good situation, bad situation, or neutral. You really do gain knowledge from all, all different scenarios. So at that point, you want to make sure you're going through these experiences with your partner from time to time too as well. You guys can talk about it in bed, at the you know the coffee table, um, dinner table, whatever it is, or even just during the day. You say, remember that time like this? And there's certain things that might draw up those memories too. Right. You might be driving past this, like the place you first got your first date at, right? With them. And, and you're like, oh, remember the, the time where you know, we first met and we went to and then you're like, ha, ha, this, ha. this restaurant and we ate this or you said something funny to the waiter and you got to start giggling about it, laughing about it. You're like, oh my God, it's so funny. Um, or it could be bad things that happened in the past that were the ultimate downfall, dredged things. And you guys got over these things. You're like, remember this, honey? And, and it might bring up that memory. It might not be so good, 
but you do remember, hey, listen, we've got past this memory now. We've got past these things, and we're in a better place. I remember I stared at you while you were sleeping and really thought some things over. Oh, no. I'm kidding. I've Ugh. never done that to John. Oh, no. <laughs> I love John. I just told him, I was like, listen, it's either you're going to be with me or you're going to be in the backyard 10 feet under and I'm going to have five friends help me dig that hole yeah. and drag you down there. Yeah. So. so if anything happens to me, you got the testimony right here. There you go. He's in the backyard. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck finding him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. It's unconditional oh, love. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> I know we're crazy. But, you know, I mean, these different experiences and these different memories really make you your, you and your relationship. And it, 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 it's awesome because you reflect back on these different things. And it's really what long relationship or people that are in long relationships really do look back at. They might look back at photo albums. That was another one when we were younger. Remember that? Yeah, 100%. And then sometimes you'll be like, sometimes it'll be something cool and you're like, man, we need to do something like that again, yeah. you know, or it'll be something where you want to do something like that again. And oh, we and, had that really cool vacation. I can't wait to I go can't, back. I want to there. go there again. Or, you know, it's just, you know? it's, you'll be able to, you know, reminisce or guys, even sometimes like the silent moments that you can really save your too, right? Yeah. Whether it's in a movie theater or like even just having like a nice quiet dinner or something and you just have music in the background or something, even in that one moment. And this is, I think this really only happens when you're like in true love, right? Mm -hmm. You hit the true love point because I feel like any other relationship me personally anyway that I've ever been in the true love point I wasn't like feeling any sort of emotions with just sitting there them staring at me I'm like eh. Why are you staring at me? Like, what is your problem? Like, did you have something to talk about? Like, this is super boring. But like, literally, you know, John, get, me and John could literally be there at having a moment where it's just, we wouldn't even say nothing and we can look at each other and it's just one of those moments, you know? Like, yeah. so you just, you want to cherish those moments and recognize those moments and, you know, make sure your partner feels appreciated and yeah. feels loved yeah. and that they know that you care for them and you, and you, put forth the effort to show them that they are number one, yeah. you know, whether it, it could be anything, the smallest things like, you know, making sure he eats lunch every day. That's important, you know, cause we get busy, but you know, it's the little things to make sure that he knows like, Hey, listen, I'm thinking of you. Like I want you to eat, make sure you do this, make sure you do that. Take care of yourself. He does the same thing to me. Hey, go do this, go do that. Don't forget to do this. You're reminding each other to take care of each other because listen, I need him to stay around. Okay. I'm like, the life insurance policy is irrelevant to me because you're much more valuable alive than dead. Okay. <laughs> This is a true statement. I'm not lying. I'm always very straightforward on these things, right? I've told I'm him before. More valuable alive than dead. Thank please, God. Please, 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 <laughs> like just please. I need you to. I need you to take care of yourself. So you know, just it's a, the little things in life. Yeah, appreciation is key, and appreciation all appreciating all the little things out there. Like she said, like you know, like telling me to eat something or whatever it may be, like just the little things. Not just showing the appreciation at big occasions mm -hmm. or situations in your life or events. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like on an anniversary or something like yeah. that. Like, let me go buy something. It's never really even about money. It's about uh, action. Yeah, yeah. It's, it really is. It's, it's not about money at that point. And showing appreciation has nothing to do with money. It really does have to do with you showing the emotion. Um, you create the action to show your partner that they're loved. Um, and that you want to be with them for a long period of time, right? For the rest of your life, hopefully. So that's, uh, that's really where it's at with the appreciation. You just want to make sure that, like I said, you're appreciating your partner. You're not taking them for granted in any way, shape, or form, because that's a one big one out there. You know, because somebody is doing something for you every day. You don't need to think about it. And then you just expect it. Then you expect it. Yeah. Right? Instead yeah. of being appreciative of if, uh, instead of being appreciative of it, you just expect it. Yep. And then it doesn't become special anymore. So don't do that. It makes okay, them feel bad that. if you do that. Yeah. All right. Make, make sure you say thank you. I really appreciate this. Thank go out you. Your way. Go a long way. Do something. Write a little letter. Give them a little rose. Do something to show them the appreciation for what they do to you on a daily basis that you might not even have been thinking about because they do it so often for you. Mm -hmm. Right? So these are just some of the tips and tricks that have made our relationship successful and a couple other ones that we know out there. So at that point, if you're looking to have a long lasting relationship, make sure you savor those times, experiences with your partner and don't take them for granted and make sure they feel appreciated. That's it guys. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. We'll see you guys next Sunday for Cupid's Corner at 11 a.m. If you guys didn't get to catch it live, make sure you DVR it. If you miss it there, don't worry. Just go on YouTube, 
type in Type Medical Center and go watch all the awesome episodes of Cupid's Corner and more awesome Type Medical Center content. Well, we'll see you next Sunday. See you then, guys. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.